Hey Psych2Go community, before we begin this video, we just want to give a warm thank you. We know we've given you many thanks already in the past, but thank yous are timeless and we really do appreciate all the love and support you've given us. We see each and every one of you and your well-being matters to us. We hope as the years continue to unfold, we can continue delivering quality content tailored just for you. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. Have you ever been backstabbed, lied to, or betrayed by someone you thought you could trust? Unfortunately, we can't stop people from taking such actions against us, but we can decide who we keep in our lives. Wondering if your BFF is reliable or not? Here are five signs someone isn't really your friend. One, they use you more than they enjoy your company. Maybe they approached you first with good conversations and that's how your friendship started but eventually, the mask falls off. Do they often only go to you now when it's convenient? Or you ask them to hang out and they immediately will follow up with anyone else going before they decide on coming or not? Or maybe they're simply constantly asking for favors. Maybe you work at a company they want to work at. Do they only meet up with you to ask to borrow something? Relationships are give and take. And if you want to find out if they are a true friend, just ask them for a favor too. And if they reciprocate, then keep them around. Otherwise, you know what to do. 2. There is an imbalance in communication. Unless they are an introvert, are you always the one making contact? Do they frequently ghost you? Sometimes, life can be overwhelming with responsibilities piling up, or we get to a point where your work schedule isn't compatible with your friends. But if they constantly cancel plans with you or stop communicating with you altogether, it might be a sign to start investing in other, more worthwhile friendships. You deserve support, attention, and respect too. 3. They are secretly competing with you. This one can be tricky to detect, especially if they seem like the passive-aggressive type. But pay close attention to how they react to your progress and achievements. Do they say congrats with a smile, but secretly want to beat you? Are they known to be a naturally jealous person? One other thing to note is if they copy you. Copying is an attempt to steal your identity. They might try to keep up with you by trying to become a replica of you. Not that it's not flattering, but still. Before we begin our next topic, we actually want to give a small shout out to Domix. Domix is an amazing animation channel featuring story theme content, including gifts, patience, rejection, all in a lighthearted, educational way. Be sure to check him out. He also runs a cool gaming cafe if you're around Mississauga in Toronto with an awesome group of people. Now, on to point four. Four, they bring you more drama than support. If you have low tolerance for drama, it's probably best to evaluate if you can see yourself growing with someone who enjoys gossiping and stirring up trouble. A solid friendship is about having fun with someone and providing a safe space where both parties can confide in one another. If they smack talk about your other friends and their friends, you can probably guess that they will talk smack about you too. Is that someone worth keeping around? 5. They make everything about them. There's a difference between seeking validation and punishing you for wanting to establish boundaries. Some people are clingier than others, and that's okay. If you hear the phrase, if you were a real friend, then you would do this for me, blah, 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 then you know. Personally, I'm not really a fan of being guilt-tripped, so I would advise you not let others do that. 